Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Pago Bajidankwa, on this matter, because trust is key in any electoral process and one of the major ingredients that is needed in, in ensuring that that promise of a free, fair, transparent election is, is achieved. The concerns have been about the conduct of the EC in some of the instances, the errors committed, and then also how they were identified and eventually corrected, and the EC stance on some of the issues that have come up now, affecting or impacting the trust that is, is crucial going into this particular election. As a party, did you have concerns as well with the recent position on the media and then also the matter of some of the serial numbers, discrepancies, uh, not only limited to the voter region, Bono, Greater Accra, we understand as well. Seven days to this election. I am very troubled with the behavior of the Electoral Commission. Why is that? You see, in this country, when people are going to write examinations, you take your exam questions to a securitized printing press. Mm -hmm. Often people are not even aware of where the where, printing yeah. press yes. is or which agency is doing the printing. And then when the printing is done, there's supposed to be verification of every question before it even comes out of the printing press. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned that printing houses are making mistakes with serial numbers and printing papers, ballot papers are being sent to EC and EC is deploying and later asking for those ballot papers to come back. I, I mean, it, these things are unpardonable, to be honest. And I've, I've shared my frustrations about these issues on many platforms. This is a very important election as all elections have been. It's a very important election for the new patriotic party. We want to make Al Haji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia the next president of the Republic of Ghana. The Electoral Commission is the only body that all of us that would vote next week, Saturday, would have to use as a medium to make that decision on Al Haji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia becoming the president of the Republic of Ghana. So, a few days to the election and we are having these challenges. I think that, you see, Electoral Commission, we beg you, we beg you, okay? We want a transparent election. We want a free and fair election. We want the Ghanaian people to know that the decision they have made is reflective on the announcement you would make. Mm -hmm. So please, Spare everybody in this country the tension and the anxiety and all the butterflies that are flying around. Spare us all of that. On Monday, 2nd December, we have special voting that is going on mm -hmm. or is going to happen. I hope we don't have any issues with serial numbers and any issues with ballot papers. But I have, I have to really, really express my disappointment with all these issues of serial numbers and the fact that some ballot papers have to be bent for political parties to assemble. And to be watching. To, to be watching. Oh, please, please. I mean, I, I think we've come very far. Okay, um, Madam Jane Mensah, we beg you, please. Okay, we beg you. Let's, let's, let's have one country... Let's have a peaceful election. Let the Ghanaian people know that should they make a decision to vote for Alhaji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, that is reflective and not otherwise. So these things do not augur well, okay? It does not augur well. So please help all of us. And those would be my, my comments on the Electoral Commission. Okay. See, now, they, they've made the point that the, all of these issues that have been seen, Dr. Bati Dankwa, is as a result of their own vigilance, at least recently they identify the errors themselves. Previously, we saw the NDC also identify, identify some of the issues and the errors that were pointed out to the Electoral Commission and eventually corrected. Is that reassuring? No, you see, Alfred, is it neither here nor there whether the Electoral Commission identified these errors themselves or a political party identified the errors? Because the Electoral Commission identified the errors, but yes, the ballot papers were sent to, to constituencies and polling stations. 
They should have identified the errors at the printing houses and asked the printing houses to reprint and not even come into the public domain. It should have just stayed within the political parties. That look, the, the, the things that were printed, it's not reflective of what we wanted, so we've asked for a reprint. Now, there, are, there are issues that happen, like I stated in the beginning of my submission, that when people are writing exams and they are printing it in printing houses and they make mistakes, they reprint it. Mm -hmm. If the questions are not clear, if some questions have been mismarked, because you know when you print, sometimes it makes up. You can't see the words clearly. You reprint it. So these issues that the Electoral Commission identified the error, the errors that they identified shouldn't have made the ballot papers go to the constituencies. Mm -hmm. It should have been halted at the very beginning. That's it. And also to state that, I mean, the media coverage of the election. I'm aware that about 4,500 uh, media personnel are going to give um, to, to, to be given be given accreditation, yes. but really, you see, Alfred, we have never had an issue with the coverage of our election by media house. We've never had an issue from 1992, 96, 2000, even the most heated election of 2000. We've never had an issue. There's always been mandated bodies: GJA, Giba, Prim Park, the New Media. All of these that bring out information very clearly. And in this time and age, uh, there's really, the, even the people you are giving accreditation to, there are other people that will be able to find the results and put it out. I will also to state that when other new media people find the results and they put it out, because they are not accredited, those informations will be wrong or not. I mean, I think, you see, the electoral commission, I mean, the way they are doing the things they are doing, it doesn't augur well and it's not helpful, okay? Like I stated, by next week, when we finish voting and we start doing the analysis on radio and TV and we start watching online feed and everything, we had a 2020 general election. We didn't have anything like this. Okay, we didn't have anything like this. Everybody had the freedom to, to, to cover it. I mean, people in constituencies, in rural communities, everybody, people were calling and, and sending, sending results. So where are all these restrictions coming from? So, well, I'm glad that they said GJ and Giba have agreed that they will give 4,500. I hope that we don't set a precedence of 2028 that because of the 2024 general election, uh, media houses were accredited. You can accredit all media houses that are registered with GDA. And for the media houses themselves to decide who would go and represent the media house. Because media houses have affiliations all across the length and breadth of this country. Dr. Parker, thank you on this one.